All right, so this is episode seven of Tea Time with Grimlock, <laughs> with Grimlock 88, and here I have uh, Rage again. Straight off the short bus. <laughs> Did you have any window lickers? Mm, no, I had to sit next to My Little Pony. Oh. Oh, I get it short, as in that term. Yeah. <laughs> well, where we come from, when we say the short bus, we usually hit, see people licking the windows from the bus. Oh, yeah. That would have been me trying to get out, but... <laughs> what, trying to lick the window to get out? Well, I was thirsty, you know. <laughs> okay. So, interesting things have been up. Um, I think... Today or tomorrow, or rather tonight or tomorrow, I'm going to be posting two videos. The, the two customs I told you about earlier, right? Yeah. And then I'll post an update about the uh, broken transformer I had, which we also kind of talked about a little bit. Yeah, that'd, that'd be interesting to see when you get them posted. Um, <coughs> someone sneezed. <laughs> My fiance's in the back. Sneezing's not good. Your heart stops momentarily when you sneeze. She's still alive. That's good. Um, so, basically, two of the customs I had worked on was, first off, because I wasn't planning on buying a crap load of stuff, um, I just basically was like, okay, I'm not going to buy the other figures just to finish the set. So, I, uh, just, uh, kind of modified the one figure to get the set that I kind of wanted. Yeah, but those usually end up being the best customs. Yeah, but all I did was drill a hole in the back of the one dude's leg. Yeah, I, some of my customs are just weapons add-ons. You mean kind of like with Grimlock for a false Cybertron? Yeah. That was a damn good custom. What, with the shield and the sword add-on? Yeah. That was just an accident, just playing around with it. That's how I figured that one out. I just, you know, when you play the game, false Cybertron, Grimlock has a bigger sword than what they gave him. That's very true. Although, just give it a few months, I'm pretty sure that there will be some sort of third-party company that will make some bigger sword for him. Yeah, that would be nice. I'd just rather make my own, though. I, I don't, I like third-party companies. I have a few of their things, but I'd rather, you know, it's more fun just to build your own. Speaking of third-party things, um, with the help of two types of third-party things, I made it a uh, Rich Boys... Uh, Jet Optimus. That's right. You were telling me about that one. Are, are you going to do a post a review on that one as well? I actually, I haven't posted it yet, but I have the thing set up. In fact, YOLO, I'll post it right now. Okay. Because... Uh, things have changed again. I hate change. <laughs> kind of interested how you did that. You said it was pretty easy to do, just snapping on arms and stuff. It was, what, an Iron Man? Hmm? Is, that, is that what you used? Oh, was Iron that? Army. Uh, Iron Army. It's that third party set that's kind of like a World War II-esque thing to create the Combaticons. Oh, yeah. Okay. That goes with the Power Core Combiner. Yeah. Yeah, it's that. So... Yeah, I got a video I got to edit, too. I did, uh, after talking to you last time, I was, uh, went in and shot a, you know, shot a bunch of videos and stuff like that that I haven't done any reviews on, and there's a bunch of customs I have, and I did one of them that I was going to enter into a contest last year, but I ended up moving and stuff like that, so I didn't, so I have a video of that. I was, was going to post that probably tomorrow. That one was a, uh, Energon landmine mm -hmm. and a uh, with 
with a bunch of add-ons and repaints, and then I put on um, the Energon Galvatron's head on him. Took Ooh. the horns off and did some painting and modifying to the head, but I have that, and I did a whole custom set. I made him an Autobot. I, I was gonna, I'm gonna post that. Let's get some pictures and stuff with it. Oh yeah, and also uh, be watching. I did a a review for my uh, KO Double Dealer, which I mentioned your name in the review too. So. Oh, cool. I think it was your at your request too. Was it? Yeah, you said something about uh, posting up a bunch of videos. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, there were some older videos that I haven't even done yet. I got, you know, real slow at about doing videos. But I got a few things I'm waiting on. I'm working on another custom. I was out at uh, the flea market about two weeks ago, and I found a... I think it was the original movie, Optimus Prime, was a KO version. I decided to do a, a, a Nemesis Prime out of him. Sweet. Um, is your mic um, being muted at certain points? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just so some of the background noise gets a little cut out. Oh, that, that isn't a big issue, you know. Okay. I don't, I don't mind background noise, you know. Okay. Because... Well, my fiance was trying to talk to me at the same time. Oh, so. that's fine then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever had situations like you nearly super glued your hand to a toy you're uh, modifying or fixing? All the time. <laughs> yeah, I've had that situation. Yeah, I get, I get like, um, I've, I've painted my fingers, super glued my fingers to small, like when I'm doing weapons mods or something like that, I've accidentally glued my, glued the thing to my hand. I burned myself with hot glue. Ouch. <laughs> um, I, th I think super glue has something in it that can take out dye from certain things, like for example, a red Lego piece or something like that. Uh huh. And it takes the dye out of it, so if you end up getting your thing stuck to the super, like the thing stuck to you, when you uh -huh. rip it off, you're going to find some of the dye on your finger. Yeah, because it uh, it's made the bond with the plastic. And actually, super glue, if I, super glue will bond to your skin pretty quickly, too. In fact, that's what a lot of doctors use when they have, like, cuts to keep air from getting into it. Yeah. I think that's originally what super glue was developed for. Uh, yep. It's, in fact, it's what doctors recommend that you use on paper cuts because it oh. blocks out all the water and helps you, you know, keeps you from, uh, so, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to check on something for the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it said it, 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 it uh, says the, I don't know if it's alive yet. Did you just upload it? Yeah. It takes it takes a little bit for it to process before it'll be live. Okay, well, when it does, I don't know if it's, you know. You send me the link? Yeah. It looks pretty cool, because I also took, you know, the one headmaster from Armada, you know, for, with Sideways? Sideways. Oh, that one, yeah. yeah. I have that one. The motorcycle. Yeah. So I took the black one, and I ended up turning it into, like, a helmet for Optimus. Oh, I see that on there. That looks pretty cool. Oh, so you're able to see it. Yeah. Okay, why is it that I have some really odd um, suggestion, you know, videos? Suggestion videos? Oh, wow. Uh, do you get those too? Yeah. I never... <laughs> yeah, I was kind of surprised with some of the suggestion videos I just got. Like, I see this one that says, My Date with Rebecca Black. Rebecca gets a break. 
puke my brains out. Something, the San Antonio Spurs versus Miami Heat. <laughs> Let's see. I'm looking at mine. Let's see. Because I was watching, I think I was watching some Power Rangers stuff, some reviews. I got some of those up there. Mm -hmm. I got a few of them in some, I don't know what that is. Got Optimus Prime versus Nemesis Prime. Transformers Prime. Uh, DYA Swamp Cooler Maintenance and Repair. <laughs> I have a couple figures I'm waiting from uh, BBTS, too. I uh, pre-ordered pre Springer and Blitzwing, but it takes forever through BBTS for them to send you anything. Hmm. If you pre-order. That's crazy. I ordered. I pre-ordered it in March 25th, and it takes a while. Dude, that's insane. Yeah. Like, you order, you pre-order it, and then you got to wait, and then everybody else already has it. So then the nice thing is, is now I know what mods I have to do to, for the shoulders on uh, Blitz, Blitzwing, and it doesn't look too hard. And then with the nose cone. Yeah. Because you're going to want to shave that back a little bit. Yeah. Um, so one of the gifts I ended up getting from one of my cousins was a $25 gift card. Uh, for Amazon.com and twenty-five dollars, so in total fifty. So on Amazon, I get I end up getting like two DVDs, or a DVD and a DVD set because it was cheap enough. Mm -hmm. The DVD, uh, the first one was Kung Fu Hustle. Have you ever oh, seen okay. That? Yeah. Okay. You think it's pretty funny? Yeah, I do. I love it. So <laughs> I was like, I have to get this. He's fighting the cow. Cow? Is that the one I'm thinking of? Mm. No, that's uh, is that Kung Fu Hustle where he's fighting the cow with the uh, with the I think it's the rodents or the squirrels as nunchucks. No. Oh. You're thinking of a totally different movie, which now I must look <laughs> up and watch. This one, you have these Kung Fu masters who are secretly, you know. They're, you don't find out they're Kung Fu Masters yet, but they own, they're like a landlord and landlady, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're just trying to take care of their people, right? And so there's these, uh, this gang called the, like a, the Axe Gang or something. Yeah. And so they try to force uh, their way into like getting what they want and crap. And so... Um, the first time they end up getting their butts kicked by like three of the people that live within the village. Um, the tailor who's gay, right, he knows the Iron Fist style, which is kind of surprising. Um, I think it was like the fish, fish mongrel, he knew the six um, staff style, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then finally the third guy, he knew another type of style. Basically, after they kicked the Axiom's asses, right, they end up going back and, like, with someone uh, special. Uh, they aren't considered um, assassins, but they were paid to assassinate them, right? Mm -hmm. So they end up assassinating uh, three warriors, and then the one master knows this one move called, like, the Lion's Roar and ends up, like, destroying uh, the other two, the one that killed them, right? All this time, there's, like, this one kid that, like, end up joining the bad side because, like, he, like, the bad people always win in his mind because, like, he tried learning Kung Fu for this person because she was getting hurt. Yeah. And he couldn't do it right, and they end up getting the crap beaten out of him. So after getting the crap beaten out of them by uh, one of the most powerful masters, his chi realigned and he became a master himself. And there's like this, there's this awesome scene to where like when he is like still this bad guy, right? He tried throwing a knife at the landlady, and there's this running scene. 
and it's almost like animated, and it's really cool. Hmm. I, I would. No, then I've never seen it. I would recommend looking it up or something. I okay. saw it online, so like I know you can see the whole thing online somewhere. Maybe Netflix has it. They probably do. Or Hulu. Hulu Plus has it. What doesn't you know? The internet has. <laughs> I, I heard Netflix is going to get rid of some of their movies and stuff here pretty soon, too. Hmm. So one of the other things I found was um, the collector's edition for the first season of Transformers. Oh, Prime or? Uh, Generation 1. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Came in a nice silver box set. You open it up and you see Optimus versus Megatron, right? open up even more, and then you see both the bases, I think. And it has four discs, plus a collector's thing, which has, like, some bios with a booklet. And then there's these two translucent things. One is a rumble, and a, like, standing in front of a forest or something, like about to fight or something. Mm -hmm. Another of Starscream and Rabbit or something. It was really cool. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't know what to do with them. Like, I don't know what you'd do with the, the translucent things, if you're supposed to stick them on a window or what. Those are probably, what, animation cells? Yes. That they sent? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You could frame them, I guess. What are animation cells? Aren't they the cells that they use when they do, um, when they paint? They... they when they paint the animation, each cell has has a different movement. It's it's stop motion basically is how they do it. And they paint on the backs on the reverse side and take pictures of the or take pictures of the. It, it's done differently. I I haven't seen too many cells. Wow, I never realized. Wow, that, that's rather collectible. Yeah, or they just send it with as to make it more collectible. Yeah. Because, but you know, you got to think back in G1 days. They didn't, they didn't have computers to do all the animation. They just took pictures, like, you know, stop motion. Mm -hmm. And each cell was hand painted. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, what was I looking at? <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was something I was supposed to be looking for. So you didn't get any Transformers or anything like that on the... Amazon? Well, you're, yeah, on Amazon? No. Uh, most of the stuff was kind of out of the price range, which is a little silly. It seems like they hiked the prices up on Amazon. I've shopped on there, too. I haven't bought anything. It's kind of same thing with eBay. They kind of hiked the prices up. I end up... Uh, so I had this emulator to play Wind Waker, Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. After a certain point, I forgot the fact that if you purchase or not purchase, download something, your emulator will crash and you have to start all over. And guess who downloaded something? You? Yep. So I lost Thank all you. the data. <clears throat> Is that a Super Nintendo emulator, or is that... GameCube. GameCube? Wow. Yeah. And so I had to set it up just right to get the... Uh, get the... Uh, how to word it? The... <sighs> the, um, the speed to be close to being on par. Mm -hmm. To being able to play it. So you had to slow down your frame rate? I had to speed it up using a uh, kind of changing something in the options. Oh, okay. Because it was like way too slow. It was giving me like 25 frame rates per second. I had to have at least 30 to have it run at a good click. Yeah. So. Because then it looks like it's freezing and stopping and. Yeah. So once I got it working, I got pretty decently far, and I was PO'd. So I was like, "That's it." Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so I went on to eBay, purchased the game, 
purchase a controller to put in the Wii. Monday I go to buy a Wii. You gonna buy a Wii U or just the Wii? Yeah, because the Wii U's are not backwards compatible. They will not play uh, GameCube games. Yeah, that's why. I, and plus, I was like, which would be easier? Buying the game and then just backwards compatible, you know, playing mm -hmm. it backwards compatible, you know, on the Wii, or pre-ordering the re HD remake on the Wii U for more and have to buy. It, it was just cheaper in, in my sense to be able to get the Wii in that. Do you have the memory cards for the uh, GameCube? No. Because you'll need those to save. Oh, can't you save them on the blocks? Nope. Oh, you can't. You have to have the um, memory cards for the for the GameCube in order to save. Hmm. Do you think uh, GameStop would still have those? They might. You might be able to ask them. I would hope so, because... You know, what else am I going to do? You can play it, and then it'll, you won't have any place to save it. Yeah, seriously, why can't they put it on the blocks, though, like anything else? I don't know. I, I, when I got my Wii, I played a few of the GameCube games. The problem is, is they don't save. You have to actually save them to, to, the, save them to, the, um, to the memory cards which makes no sense. But. I think that's a little silly because, like, everything is run based off of the blocks these days. Yeah. And so, like, if you have enough blocks to save the game or whatever, you should be able to do that. You should. And you can, on the Wii, on the Wii itself, you can actually add a SD card to it as well if you want to add more blocks. Mm. That still wouldn't help, you know. I, I, Monday I go to buy the Wii, and I, I know that's going to cost me 80 at GameStop. So yeah, ask them if they have uh, if they have the memory card for it too. Uh, did you buy a wireless game controller or did you buy a wired? Oh, it's wired. Um, okay. I, I found it on a rack. It's called the Gecko controller or something like mm -hmm. that. No chameleon, and it, it works for both the Wii and the GameCube because it you know, plugs into both. Yeah, because the the GameCube or the Wii actually has GameCube ports on the top of it, mm -hmm. where the memory card slots are and, and everything else, so. Yeah. You know, I might end up buying uh, the Box Bomber set from Keith's Fantasy Club. The Box Bomber? Yeah, it's, like, it's Beast Box and Squawk Talk. Oh, are you going to buy that? Yeah. I look at it, and I'm like... I just gotta have it. <laughs> That's a guilty pleasure. <laughs> Bird dick syndrome city. <laughs> oh come on, you you would do it too. Don't lie. Oh yeah. Oh no, I would. I would. I'm I like, definitely would. Ladies, <clears throat> I do believe I have a nice cock to. Uh, <clears throat> right. You see, I, I'm almost tempted to even buy that. Uh, what is it, that new Predaking set that's coming out? New Predaking set? Oh, what is it? Uh, not Unique. Is it Unique Toys that came out with the one? Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, the, the individual modes, the robot modes and the individual finger, figures look terrible, but when they're combined into Predaking, they look awesome. Yeah, it is from the Unique Toys. and I When I see them by themselves, I'm like, uh, no. They look very spindly. They do. <laughs> Not just <laughs> that. The one just looks butt ugly. Which one? Um, War Rhino or Iron Head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he does. He look, I, I, I'm trying to, there's a podcast I was listening to, and they said it looks like he was doing push-ups. And he, like, girly push-ups, and he couldn't get up, and it, they're true. They're right. He he does look. I mean, individual, the standalone figures. They're terrible, but you know, combined, they just look great. Won't uh, you know? Won't argue with you there, but <laughs> I don't got the cash to pay for five figures that are like eighty-four dollars each. 
Yeah, I know. That, that's why I haven't picked them up yet either. I'm kind of saving my money. Plus that when Metroplex comes out, I really want to get, get him too. Yeah, I wanted to save cash for like Blitzwing and uh, Springer and uh, Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. I don't care if Sandstorm is like a remold slash remake. It, they changed the, the vehicle mode enough to where it's, it's different. Yeah, I've seen the pictures of him, and he looks he looks awesome. I want to get him as well, just because they're triple changers. I mean, at least yeah. they turned him into a VTOL jet. You know, yeah, so exactly. They, you know, they put effort into him. Look, it's a repainted Springer. He's a helicopter in a car now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Um, trying to think. Um, I also wanted to get another... One of the ones that are coming out. I'm trying to think. I'm. Oh yeah, the uh, the Megatron. Yeah, I, I'm probably not going to order him. I'll wait till he hits the shelves and then. I mean, I, I was planning on waiting till he hit the shelves as well. It's just I would probably have a better chance at getting him online because my Walmart carries jack shit. <laughs> yeah, mine too. I live in Denver and. The Walmarts I go to are bare. They don't have anything. The targets suck. And there's three Toys R Uses around here. And, well, two of them that aren't too far. I had to drive to a different city. And uh, it had an outlet store with an outlet of uh, Toys R Us. And that's where I found the Beast, Beast Hunters uh, Shockwave. Jeez. And I haven't seen them on the store. It sucks. that the, the distribution here is just terrible. Well, over here, I can only, like, there's a... Target uh, a couple cities away from mine. It, it would be like a half an hour drive to get there. Yeah. And that's just due to traffic and stuff from where I am. So I can find a Target and a Toys R Us there, and they usually carry. Every once in a while I'll find something that I want to get there, but sometimes it's out of my price range, so it's like, well, just great. Mm -hmm. And then if I went to Walmart... Uh, right by where I live, the stuff that they carry, that amounts to, like, they still have Fall of Cybertron stuff there. Yeah, I've seen that in some of mine, too. It's like... And most of it's Bumblebee stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just burn them already. No one's <laughs> going to buy them. And now they're starting to show up in the dollar stores around here now, too. Yeah. Um... And they're selling them for five bucks a piece. That's kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. Except for the dollar store I live near. It's not uh, even Fall of Cybertron or anything. It's uh, Dark of the Moon. Yeah, I've seen that too. Oh. Most of it's like Top Spin. I've seen Top Spin, Bumblebee, Air Raid. I think those are the only three I've ever seen. And then uh, I, I got lucky and found Hunger, the Cyberverse. And I, I just wish I could find the rest of them. I have uh, Twin Twists, that's it. Yeah, I have Twin Twists and I have Hunger, and there's supposed to be more coming out. I, I want to get them, but I guess Target's supposed to get an exclusive, but I don't know if I want to wait for it or not. I don't know if I really like those because of the, the clear plastic that's on them. Yeah, the clear plastic syndrome, it's basically the same thing as gold plastic syndrome. Yeah. It, it is just so fragile. Like, Put it on the shelf, just, it takes a dive, and you're done. You know, one of the figures I had, it just shattered. And I was pretty upset because I was like, you know, one of my favorites, great job. <laughs> You know, I've seen tons of sound waves out here, but I haven't yet to see a blaster or a, a, a and, well, I've seen a lot of his cassettes or a sound blaster or blaster. Those are the two I have not yet seen. Hmm. Those are, I'm trying to think. <clears throat> Gotta watch how I stretch. <laughs> I did pick up the Fall of Cybertron uh, Air Raid. 
I really want to get that figure. It's so cool. I, at first, I, I was kind of iffy about it, and then I had him in hand, and the swords and the way he can move his we- or change his weapons around actually made it worthwhile picking up. Um, I was trying to think on, like, what would it look like if in one of the arms you had, you know, his sword clipped in, and in the other you had Shockwave's gun clipped in, or what, how good that would look. Actually, that's how I have mine post. Because he comes with that double barrel gun, instead of the triple barrel like Shockwave has. Right, but what I mean is, like, if you had a Shockwave figure, you could took his gun and plugged it into the one arm. Then you had his large sword plugged into the other. I'm gonna have to fig- I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look and see. I have both of them, so I might have to do that and take pictures of them. Yeah, cause I-, I would figure that looked pretty good. I think it would. I mean, with you got that triple barrel gun plus with the big barrel on it, that would look pretty good. I ended up doing a slight mod on my shockwave. I don't know if I ever told you about this. Which shockwave? Follow Cybertron. Oh, really? Um, if you take the little rubber bands that usually come with the figure as it's packaged, Yeah. I put it around the one edge of the barrel thing for the triple barrel gun. Mm-hmm. And when you plug in the actual large barrel thing, it keeps it from falling off, because mine would fall off at the tip of a hat. Yeah. Um, Rage, I'm going to have to ask you to um, stall the viewers for a minute. I have to do something really quick. Okay. I guess I could sing, but then everybody would tune out. So while we're waiting... I guess while we're waiting, I could talk to myself for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Or not. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was almost going to talk to myself. I do that when other people have to leave, and it's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, you get that awkwardness, like, what am I going to talk about? So I'm looking around on my desk, trying to see what figure I can start talking about. <laughs> Some of the times I'd grab, like, a thing of keys. Look, keys! Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. <laughs> that keeps them retained, right? Sure. What do you mean it doesn't? What, what do you mean I keep uh, repeating everything you say? <laughs> Seriously, 32 ounces of soda right before a podcast is not a good idea. Oh, oh, I see. Yep. And I had that uncomfortable, bladdered feeling. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> you got to do the pee-pee dance and then run for it. <laughs> well, that's the best thing about my upstairs. Right next door to the computer room is the bathroom. Oh. I tried drinking 32 ounces of soda and then going on a three-hour car ride. Oh, dear God. <laughs> With hardly any stops in between. <laughs> and pray for a traffic jam so you can run out of the car. <clears throat> There's a bush. <clears throat> Let's go water it. Time to go. Excuse me one moment. Where are you going? Oh, we're in a traffic jam. It will move maybe like two inches by the time I get back. <laughs> Hey, lady, stop yelling at me. It's biodegradable. <laughs> hey, safe for the ozone. <laughs> the bushes need it watered. <laughs> We're in a drought. Come on. It's like the, the city nor the state is going to come by and water these plants. I'm doing them a favor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preventing forest fires. Smokey the Bear would love me. <laughs> <laughs> you are pissing on a plant. And your point's what? It's just what do bears do. <laughs> Didn't I just see your dog water that tree? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I have to watch that video. I, I have your video up. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. You do your thing. I'm trying to find some something for the to kind of talk about. I have you uh, looked at the Jolly Roger kit for uh, the Junkions yet? No. Oh man, if if you have a spare Junkion that you want to change, that kit is awesome. I I got that kit off uh, BBTS and it's really nice. Gives him the gun, changes out the head. It makes him makes him look like a different figure. Um, and this is run by what company? Like, oh, what is Jolly? I don't remember who Jolly Rogers run by. <clears throat> hey, look that up. Oops. And then I got some brave, or actually, you know what the easiest thing to find is in a Walmart hmm. when we're talking about? <laughs> you find a ton of uh, Power Rangers stuff. Mm -hmm. And I got the, was it the Goze Great or Megazord? Mm -hmm. I picked that up, and then I picked up that, um, was it the Black Tiger or uh, what is that? The Lion Megazord, Mechazord. That headmaster one, mm -hmm. man, you put those things together. The thing is huge. He stands shoulder length with the Energon uh, Omega Supreme. Damn. And I picked up some other add-on kits. My whole goal was: is how much stuff can you shove on that thing before you can't fit it on a shelf? One of my plans was a, a while ago. Do you remember those? Um, they're basically. Mugenbein, but they have Megazord, right? Yeah. And so see how many Megazords you can just scrunch together, you know, into one cluster fuck cohesion. <laughs> how many? I have no idea. I wasn't able to find any. <laughs> Let's see. My, my Megazord has the Megazord. The Lion Megazord, the Headmaster kind of one, um, that's on there. And then I got the two cycles, or what was it, the air and the sea for the arms. And then there was one of those, um, what was it, the Sea Brothers add-on kit with the sawfish thing. Mm -hmm. I added that to it, and it's heavy. And that's about as much as I can put on it before I can't fit it on a shelf. Because you're supposed to be able to put those wings out and put the headers on them, but there's no way I could put them on a shelf with the wings on on that dragon out. Plus, it's in, they're they're weird. They're in the awkward position. Who puts wings on the butt of a of, of a Megazord? I've never seen the show, so I have no idea. So. I see. Trying to find out who makes the Jolly Roger thing, and uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm having a hard time finding it on BBGS. Like, I don't even have a uh, Rekgar. I really want Rekgar so bad. I don't have Rekgar. I have the the Junkion. I had two of them actually. One for, I got for Christmas. One I bought. Okay, to to make a point. If I could have any birthday wish, it would be getting a Grimlock. I have zero Grimlocks. Damn it, I need a Grimlock. <laughs> you know what? After our last uh, podcast, I've been actually looking for him for you. I've been trying to find at least the uh, Fall of Cybertron one. I'm like, or, where the fuck do you find these things? <laughs> I don't know. I, I've only found the one. Um, but I am going to look for you and see if I can find one. Yeah, <laughs> closest thing I have was a Doom Lock, and some, that, that toy is broken. <laughs> really? Yep. <laughs> Missing the clawed feet and the arms. Wow. There are the WTS ones, too. 
the WT World Smallest Transformers. Yeah. Yeah. But don't those cost a lot? Yeah, sometimes they could cost anywhere for. Uh, I picked up mine for like thirty-five. I haven't picked up the full set of them yet because uh, Swoop ends up costing the more uh, the most out of them, but he has the extra weapons too. Ah, of course you, okay, I mean, I can understand because it comes with more weapons, but why couldn't they just do the smart thing and, like, give everyone the weapon, you know, that, that they come with, you know? Well, then they can't charge extra money. That's stupid, though. What is this? Yeah. yeah. Hey, don't they take the hints from Hasbro? <laughs> that's a good point, though. Let's let's put this out. Okay, we're gonna uh, put out a remake of this guy. Add a little bit more and to to a repaint or a remold. Maybe we'll add a couple extra weapons, and people will buy it. And then price the thing out the wazoo. Exactly. Uh, did you see the Pandora's box trailer? add-on kit for uh, Follow Cybertron uh, uh, Ultra Magnus. Oh, are you talking about that $179 um, trailer? Yeah, I think that's ridiculous. Yeah. There, isn't there supposed to be somebody else who's going to be making one up from Shapeways that's going to cost a lot less? Shapeways. Shapeways. Um, I saw somebody on the TFW boards. I... I thought he made a um, his own add-on kit, but he's talking about sending it over to Shapeways and having it made so that you can buy it from them. Hmm. If you can find a link of that, I'd... Uh, let me see here. Um, are, are they ever going to kind of create an update about that one uh, add-on kit for... Classic Optimus Prime for Power Master. Oh, I thought they... I saw one review on that. I don't think they're doing that one anymore. I thought that one got canceled. Really? He, I, is that the one that where you can use the um, the classics, the Power Master, and... Which other one was there? Generation 1. Generation 1, yeah. And there was a review for it. One review. Uh, who did it? I honestly don't remember. Huh. That was the, uh, was it Xavier? Or, it had a weird name, not Xavier, but... They had it up on BBTS for pre-order, but then it didn't go anywhere. That's so weird. I was totally going to buy it because I have Classic Prime, and I was like, that'd be so cool. But you can get the... Power Master Prime from BBTS. What, the uh, pre-order, or...? No, I think you can actually buy that one. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's in stocks, one hundred fourteen dollars. Uh, where's this? Hang on, I am going to copy this to you. There you go. You know how much I re realized a waste of time trying to buy. Uh, what is it? The uh, shit. Um. Uh, they're basically the the microns. There we go. Oh, the arms microns. Yeah. You can get them on YouTube or eBay, but they they want like too much money for one. Ludicrous prices. I think even BBTS charges a lot for them as well. Not as much as eBay. Yeah. For some reason, eBay people think that they get them, and now it's a collector item, so then they want to double charge for everything. Yeah, like, for example, the first time I, I looked up for, like, Wind Waker, oh, this is a commemorative um, Kmart edition. 
there's no <laughs> such thing. You just bought it from Kmart. Yeah. <laughs> went, it's a collector's item, so I'm going to tack on another $30. <laughs> they wanted $114 for this, you know, game. It was really? just a disc. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. No one, I repeat, no one would buy that. <laughs> That's just a load. But yeah. Just, huh. Um so try finding a G one Optimus Prime. Some of these people want a lot of money for them. Even the uh, the the anniversary editions they charge too much for them. Hey, that actually looks really decent. You seen that? No, not before. I'm looking at it now. <laughs> That's, uh, I think, somewhere. Uh, let's see, update. Uh, third progress update number eighty-five. Okay. I think in here. Where's the horse? Wow, it's gotten even better. Yeah. And it looked really decent the last time. Dear goodness. <laughs> Want with a passion. Yeah, he's nice. It, can, could you imagine a uh, repaint that go with Ultra Magnus? Oh! <laughs> That'd be so good. Oh, actually, they're available for, uh, that's that knee connector light is on top of the list and is available from Shapeways now. I'm also exploring printing in Shapeways, uh, hoping to make above the, the above, um, available for everyone. So, yeah, he's talking, he's, whoever did this is talking about, uh, sending it over to Shapeways and having it printed so you can order this. So you can build it yourself. Yeah, but uh, where, where's the Shapeways thing? Um, if you're looking at the eighty, the update on eighty-five mm -hmm. to the right, it says it says uh, knee connector light. So if, I, if I click it on Shapeways, there we go. Yeah, that's just parts of it. Hey, that, that eighteen bucks for just the knee connector. Mm. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not terrible. Well, I'd like to Minecrafter. Uh, oh, that's the only thing that he has up right now. Yeah, I've never ordered from Shapeways. I've been tempted to because of what they have. Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff I'd like to buy. Like for example, if I could find another power core combiner. And then bought this one thing. Here, I'll send you a, a link after I bookmark okay. this page. Because it's really decent. That way I can take off some of the... I'm going to I'm gonna try to find this link. I was just looking at it before we started doing the show. Um, there's a group on uh, Facebook that I belong to. It's uh, Tram Transformers uh, Customizer. Like, if you have, like, five power core combiners... Oh, let me see. Which I would that. recommend that you would buy this, and don't buy the cheap. The, um, Scott, you know, Blumhole told me not to buy the uh, what is it, the Sandstone Edition, mm -hmm. because that would be very brittle. Because it, it's like a, a sandstone colored plastic. And Combiner like, twin sockets. Wow. So it comes with six sockets, right? So I don't know what you would do the extra two for, unless if you want to go for like one of those six-piece combiners. Yeah. And uh, basically, because they has two female pegs on each side, right? That would yeah. allow you to uh, plug in to the torso of uh, a figure to create a, 
a combiner without the aid of anything else. So you can add those uh, drones to just about anything then? Yeah. Or just or, no, not the drones, just the, the – you would be taking the leader figures, you know, the actual power core combiners. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just had it here. Where is it? Damn. This guy, I, I saw him on uh, Transformers Customs on uh, Facebook. He did a um, Devastator limb kit that he used uh, bionicle parts for. For what? Uh, just a G1 Devastator limb kit. Hmm. I'm trying to find it. There's just way too many posts. There's just way too much on Transformers. <laughs> oh, yeah, and friends and everybody has to post everything. <laughs> I try to post as little as possible just for the reason of you have to watch what you post when you are looking to get a job. Yeah, don't don't a lot of companies monitor your Facebook page now? Mm hmm So when you have people that are like, yeah, weed's awesome, and F this and F that on blah, 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 yeah, they're going to really hire you now. Well, what happens if you make uh, your post that your uh, friends can only see it? Um, I don't, I don't know. But then again, I've also heard of uh, some companies telling their employees they have to hand over their password information for their Facebook account so they can monitor it. In a way, that that's not really right because no, it's not. That's like just destroying the idea of privacy onto their thing. It's like monitoring people's private emails. That's definitely wrong. But what are you going to do? Yeah. Either you work or you don't. For sure you kind of need to work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Caked up, put up some stuff. What's he doing? Oh, yeah. I like his reviews, too. Holy crap. I ended up checking my DeviantArt because... Um, I have a bit, you know, friends there, and it's my birthday, so like a lot of people are posting crap, including me. Well, yeah. Wait, you're on DeviantArt? Oh no, no, sorry, I meant I thought you meant your Facebook page, but yeah, I did post some stuff up there. Is that the chess piece from a um, Omega Prime? Which one? The thing I just sent you? Yep. I don't know how he did that. that looks it pretty. looks like it. That's uh, part of the Transformers Customs thing. It's, it's a movie-verse Galvatron. <laughs> huh. That's pretty cool. I wish it would say what he used. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> um... There it is. Uh, no, it's not there. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So, I don't know if you see the picture I'm using. Oh, there it is. For Skype? Yeah. That's what I use for... Um, uh, I end up uh, drawing that myself. Huh. Did you see that? No, I I did now. <laughs> wow. Which, that looks pretty cool. It looks like he took a uh, KO set of... Uh, yeah, because they definitely look a bit more colorful. That definitely looks good. 
Yeah, I bet the articulation and posability makes it really nice, especially with those ball joints that's, that they add to it. That's for I mean, they added, like they that. added ball joints to the knees to where um, you can move them around. It does kind of look skinny, though. I mean, it looks kind of skinny down by the knees, but it looks, I mean, it looks like you could pose it and get some nice arm poses out of them and everything. Yeah. I wonder how long it took to do that. I would think a while. Although, then again, it only took me a few days to put this together. Yeah. And then there's this one, too, that looks really cool. <coughs> it looks like he took a, a Cybertron Optimus Prime and turned him into a, a, a Ultra Magnus. Wow. Going to add this to the, the, the notes. This guy, Daniel Vargas, he's been, looks like he's done a lot. Oh, don't forget to add this one. It's actually, he made a trailer for it, too. I don't know how he did the trailer. It looks really good. Yeah, people have to check it out. It's uh, Transformers Customs on Facebook. They need to look it up. These guys post almost daily with things that they're working on. Jeez, that's so really nice. I can't believe at the end of this month I go to summer camp as a leader. You got to lead by example. You can't do all the things you did. <laughs> Actually, um, most of the stuff I'm going to be doing is cooking for leaders and eating good food, rather than oh, eating, that's good. Yeah, rather than eating uh, Gordon Food Service. <laughs> Dude, that stuff's backed you up. Like the whole week here, like oh yawn, <laughs> my stomach. <laughs> and then Thursday, you have to take a horrendous dump. <laughs> it's, it's like the one dump you take in the week that you go to summer camp. By the time you're back, you're like, oh, don't send me that back there again. <laughs> you're going back next year. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> send me Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> send me some prunes, anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, apparently I, I opened my mouth, you know. You know how that works. Oh, yeah, you put your foot in your mouth and volunteered yourself. Well, I volunteered myself to make quesadillas for the, the leaders. Uh, <laughs> now you're stuck. That's not a bad thing, though. But, yeah. I mean, seriously. Cake. <laughs> Apparently, I'm also making a, uh, some, like, uh, apparently I'm going to be cooking something daily for the, the leaders to keep myself busy. Oh, well. So you won't be leading any sports or anything like that? You'll be... Oh, no. The other people do that to begin with. Like, that's what they have, like... Uh, um, camp leaders, you know? Yeah. I actually worked there for the summer. So. Have you been watching Transformers Prime? Uh, I've been trying to watch as much as I can. There's um, 
There's a guy on YouTube who actually posts them whenever they come out. Yeah, that's where I usually catch it when I don't. Yeah, Wheeljack, I think his name is. Left the place again. Oh, you're talking about the... I was talking about the... Uh, <clears throat> Oh, yeah, you're talking about the episode. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't, he came back, though. When did he come back? Mm, which episode did you see? The uh, last episode I saw, like, Miko end up, like, using the Apex armor. Okay. So you haven't seen the new episode, so... You, you can go ahead and say it, because, I mean... He ends up coming back in the next episode, and he apologizes to Bul Bulkhead, so... It's, he doesn't leave the whole group. He comes back. He's just pissed at Ultra Magnus for being such a... Uh, that's just a short version. If you watch the episode, it gets... It, it's a lot better, so... I'm not going to spoil too much. That's cool. Um... Yeah, it's a Wheeljack1768 on uh, YouTube. He's the one who actually posts them. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go there and uh, actually, I, I sub to him, so whenever he puts out new ones, I, I try to watch it when I can. All right, cool. Um, All right, it is a question to do. Um, so, Rage, what would your Transformer name be and what would you transform into? Hmm. That's a good question. I, I don't know. Um, hmm. I would go with Ramp. No, Rampage is already taken. I think I would stick with Rage. Nobody's ever done that one before. And for me, um, I don't know. I'd have to go with some kind of a beast warmer. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think of something that hasn't been done that would have been that would be really cool. They've done just about every beast that there is. Hmm. So you've done snakes. Have they ever done a bat? Uh, technically, the original Optimus Prime and Nightshade, but other than that, no. Hmm. I think I would do a rabbit bat. Okay. <laughs> Transmetal. Just add the cool extra colors. I think my name would be Biofuel, and I would turn into um, a uh, some sort of uh, cooking, maybe it, like a cooking thing, or you know, because biofuel, <laughs> you know, comes from like vegetable oil, mm -hmm. and you use that to cook in a fryer. I would have some sort of cannon that uh, would spray uh, vegetable oil to, like, either blind my enemies or to make them slip. <laughs> I might have some sort of French accent or something to be really snooty. <laughs> I come from the, the, the best of, of oh, th that food. And he goes, you're a frickin' fryer. You probably and came from the back of a frickin' McDonald's. Shut up! <laughs> and your arch nemesis would be Toastor. Toastor. <laughs> oh, yeah, because there was, like, that toaster. Yeah. Wasn't that his name, Toastor? If not, it is now. <laughs> Either that or like... half-retarded Gobot brother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd be related to uh, Scooter. From GoBots. Oh dear God! <laughs> Drive in circles and eat crayons. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh. like I actually have the scooter figure. 
I always think of him as like Bumblebee's retarded cousin or something like that. I don't know. It's just, I hated that, that that voice he had in the show. You were man enough to actually say that you own it. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be going around saying that. Look, I have Scooter. You shouldn't be proud of that. <laughs> and he's the easiest one to find. Yeah, I wonder why. Well, nobody wants him. If I could have any go... Actually, I do have a go-bot. I just don't know who he is. Oh, really? Yeah. Found him at a yard sale, right? Mm -hmm. Turns into, like, this blue and red SUV. And the only reason why I know it's a go-bot is because it said Bandai rather than Takara or Hasbro. And so, um... His arms fold out and they're basically like penguin wings. <laughs> If I did a quick review on it, I'd you know maybe you can find out who it is. I'm trying to see who that is. But if I could have any other Gilbot, it'd have to be Spoons. Isn't he the plane? No, he's the forklift. Oh, him. Yeah. I have Pincher, and uh, Creepy. Both versions of Creepy, actually. I just. Uh, the purple and the green version. That's cool. Uh, is Creepy one of the ones from uh, that uh, combiner? No, no, that's... Uh, oh, I can't remember the name of that combiner, but no, Creepy was a mail order. One, it was... Uh, there's a commercial for it on YouTube. You're supposed to send in uh, proofs of purchase of GoBots. You can send in to get, uh, get Creepy. He looked like a mutant scorpion thing. Hmm. That's pretty cool. The green one is the mail order and one of the purple one is... The purple one was the retail version of him that they released. Oh, right. You're going to do a, a mail order figure and then you're just going to repaint it and send it into retail anyways. Yeah, exactly. That's I right. think they did it a year later. Uh, that's real smart. He's not a buggy. He's an SUV. Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? I'd like to see more if uh, they could actually come out with it. I'd like to see some mech transformers. Mech. Yeah. Like um. They would turn into not like a vehicle, but more of a mech, and then they would just kind of. You know, like a Robotech or Battletech type uh, mech. Yeah. Uh, could you name off one that you know of? Um, what kind of mech? Yeah, like one of the figures that you know of that does that. Oh, I don't know. I don't think there is any. Is there any Transformer figures that actually transform into mechs? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't think there is. That'd be kind of cool if there is, because that'd be... Uh, I'm make, I'm working on a custom one that does that. Uh, what's the custom? Um, <clears throat> I did a uh, I did the Springer, the Asian exclusive Springer. Mm -hmm. I did the custom with the Optimus Prime, Fall of Cybertron, Optimus Prime. I added the legs, turned them into a triple changer. But then after that, you have Springer's legs, and then you have Optimus Prime's body. So I was goofing around with it and figured you could turn it into like a mech type transformer. Hmm. And I um, painted them Decepticon purple, metallic purple. Mm -hmm. And I gave him a different head because I took off the Optimus Prime head and added some uh, bionicle uh, ball joints to, uh, to where his wheels would be on his forearms. Mm -hmm. And then uh, made some weapons that attached to him in uh, mech mode. And then in uh, robot mode, he could pull them off and use them as guns. Hmm. I can't remember where the head came from. I pulled it out of a parts box, but I actually fit it on there, and he's he's a nice uh, metallic purple, dark metallic purple with Decepticon logos on him, and uh, did some hand painting to him and all that. If I was to, like, do this review for the custom I just made, 
Um, do you think you can give me some ideas if I was to do some painting on what I might want to use? Uh, what kind of paints or just what, uh, what you'd like to paint? Maybe that and color scheme. Sure. Because right now it's a jumbled mess. Like there's some maroon for the arms and on the legs. Then there's some orange. Then there's like a fire red from like the Lego <laughs> and the two pieces that cover the eyes. Then there's the black from the Ravage that formed the turrets. And then there's a crystal yellow on the back piece I told you about. Mm -hmm. And attached to that is a purple cockpit. And then it's uh, Gatling gun turrets are green. So it looks like somebody ate Skittles and puked on him. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a clusterfuck mess. <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm like... Oh, and th then there's that tan color from Starscream on the front. Oh. And so it's like, then there's that silverish gray from the whole body. I'm like, what is this? Well, you want to, let's see. What color did you, would you, uh, were you thinking of for him? I just want him to look a little, like if I was to do more cohesion rather than doing him as Autobot X or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying, I would, I would think to try to color him to look more like the majority of what he is. Like, maybe get some maroon and do the front uh, nose piece. And possibly, like, orange for the Gatling guns. What about the rest of the black and everything else? I mean... That I could change to, like, the silver. That's not the hugest deals. Like, that that shouldn't be as, as hard. Depending on what the the color is, you you know, you, always, you never want to put a light color over a dark color. That makes it really hard. Yellow is a pain in the butt, too. Well, it's, it's also a crystal figure, so. Oh. I think that that's going to be the... Um... One of the things I'm kind of proud of about it is I was able to glue on something similar to uh, uh, Power Master or Headmaster thing. Mm -hmm. So like if you were to open up the chest cavity, you would see two little dials and a large one. So I would say like the first one would be his uh, speed, which is very <clears throat> low. Mm -hmm. The middle one is pretty high, which I would consider his power. And the... Uh, Last one is a 28, which I'd consider his intelligence, so like a 28%. Because if this was Autobot X, he, you know, he's like what you would consider Frankenstein, so he'd be slow, strong, and dumb. <laughs> Go kill this. Okay, Master. Actually, that's the story of the Golem. Yep. Do you know what's really ironic about that movie? Okay. Which movie? The Gollum. I don't think I've seen that movie. It's old. Like, my dad showed it to me, and I was like, wow. Um, to make a point, the story comes from Hebrew legend, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, want to take a guess at where the, uh, film was, uh, where the movie was filmed? Mm-hmm. Where at? Germany. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rather shortly after the war, if, you know, I'm like, <clears throat> really? Hmm. You know, I've been trying to find the name of that GoBot for you, and I can't find it. Yeah, that's kind of hard to do. Um, is there any last quick things you want to talk about before the podcast ends? Hmm. Well, what, uh, what figures are you planning on getting and which ones do you hope they release? Um, I plan on getting that uh, new Megatron figure coming out that turns into the uh, Stealth Bomber. 
Yeah. I'd really like to get, you know, those triple changers once they come out. Mm-hmm. Ones I'd like to see released. Um, I don't know, maybe another, uh, you know, because of Transformers 4, I've seen pictures of that apparently there's going to be this old square cab truck that turns into one of the Dinobots. Yeah, I've seen that. that, is that I wonder if that's rumored or if that's um, true. Uh, from what I read, it's true. And if so, I, I would have to suspect that would be Grimlock. Yeah, Cause but that, that makes no sense. Why would you have a square cab and then turn him into a dinosaur? I mean, I, I was thinking more along the lines of Revoltek, like that's still Grimlock, however, it's, uh, you know, uh, how to word it. You, you get the, the vehicle, but it turns into one of the characters that doesn't usually do that. Like, for example, in Vinyl Tech, you had a Ravage that turned into a car. True. And you had a Grimlock that turned into, like, a Lamborghini or something. Yeah. So I could see that. It's big, it's bulky, it's old. So. But. Uh, I, I mean, I, I hope that if they come out with the Transformers 4, that they release those in the States and not do like Hasbro did last time. Which was? Look, um, we have a sound wave, but you can't get it. <laughs> right. Or all the uh, all the wreckers from there, you know. Yeah. No no uh, deluxe oil slick unless you import it from Japan. And buy it out the wazoo. Yeah. Um, the, like, another thing I could see, like, for the Dinobots, maybe they are triple, uh, either triple changers, or I could also see some point in the movie to where they somehow see the representations of dinosaurs and they decide to make them the new alt modes. Okay, yeah, I can see that. They don't blend in, so they turn them into vehicles so they blend in better. Yeah. I guess modern day, you know, you have a dinosaur running running around that wouldn't blend in, especially if they're working with the military, so. Yeah, so I could definitely see that. I'd like to see an Ultra Magnus. I would. Um, is it just rumored, or is is there finally going to be Galvatron? You know, I don't know. I haven't heard who the new enemy or the new leader of the Septicons are going to be. Hmm. Well, um, any ideas what we should do for? like uh, a cover page or whatever for the next episode. Since we've talked a lot, I was going to see if you can use this, if I can send it over. This actually looks for customs and things like that. Okay, how would I copy image? Oh, paste. Or this one. No, oh. we didn't. What's that one? Cybertron, Cybertronian Glyph. I think this is a, a pretty good one. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't wait to see yours so I can... Uh, yeah. but, uh, Again, it's a clusterfuck. <laughs> yeah, no plan going in. We just babbled for about an hour and a half. Eh, that's how Good Morning Cybertron works half the time. Oh, is it? I thought they had show notes. Oh, they do. And the stuff that we showed, I'm going to put in as show notes. But... To make a point, they babble a lot. Like they, they get off topic a lot and then talk for like half an hour or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So. I mean, you should subscribe to the Transformers Custom thing on, on uh, Facebook. 
or join the group. They have a lot of good customs out there. It'll give you some good ideas, too. Those guys are really cool, too, though. Um, you can ask them advice. They'll help out. All right. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, real quick before we end this, um, I got to tell this story that happened a while back just because I'm an idiot. Okay. So, uh, real quick, I'm just trying to find this. Uh, okay, I found it. Um, do you want me to send you the picture from what yeah. I did? Yeah. Because you're going to look and you're going to go like, ooh. <laughs> is that one of those dirt moments? Kind of. So the story goes is I was working on making potato chips because I have this dehydrator. Mm-hmm. And um, I was using the mandolin. You know what that is, right? Not, no. Not as in the guitar thingy, as in, like, there's this little, there's, like, this bladed thingy, right, that you stand, and then you slice it, right? Oh, it's it slices it down, like, thin wafer, slices. Yeah, wafer it thin. Okay. So, I moved my knuckle just right, and I did that. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. It took a month and a half just for it to close up. Oh. And my parents... layers of skin. Yeah. So my parents were like, all right, um, to try to clot the bleeding, do a tea bag. Like, take a tea bag, put it under warm water, and then put it over your wound. Mm-hmm. Oh, it works. But you want to know the downside? Turns your finger brown. No, it burns like a motherfucker. <laughs> You're like you couldn't use super glue on that light of a wound. Uh, it would have worked. It would have been painful, but it would have worked. I couldn't find the skin. <laughs> Ouch! I, if I had the skin, that would have been okay. Like I could have just been like, all right, um, you know. At least you didn't have to cut up lemons next. That would have been terrible. Yeah, but I still had to season the potatoes. Oh, salt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. It's like scraping your knuckles when you're trying to use a cheese grater. Ah. Oh, I can tell you the times I've done that. <clears throat> yeah. Hold on, I, I gotta ask a friend something. Okay, I was gonna say like when uh my first one of my first tech jobs, we had uh, um I was removing labels from uh we called them reel to reel tapes. That's how we stored data at the time, and I was removing uh, labels from these big uh, reel tapes with a razor blade and after a week of doing this I had a band-aid on every finger and my thumb <sighs> yeah. it was just it was just a razor blade I'd slip slice my finger and was, I think a couple fingers had two band-aids on them looked like I was wearing gloves so I promised myself I'd buy some Kevlar gloves for the next time because Kevlar doesn't cut easy. No. In fact, they recommend that you use that if you're going to try to be more dexterous with a mandolin. I'd be fine with that because, like, I could then hold and have more control over the the, the vegetable and cutting. And I'm, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. It would hurt if you hit your finger, but it wouldn't cut you. I don't know if it even hurt because, like, with the angle of the blade, it just slide over the, you know, the, you know, it wouldn't cut the thing. It just kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Kind of like what, uh, when butchers had those chain mail gloves that they used. Hmm. So, um, I think that's going to be episode seven. Okay. So, I don't know if you want to talk for a few minutes afterwards or uh yeah for a few minutes and then i have to jump off here hey you do what you need to do bud <laughs>